Three weeks to go, the last debate before the caucuses. You have never seen six such agreeable people. When Joe Biden defended himself for racially insensitive remarks, <laughs> they backed him up. The Joe is, is on the right side of the issues. They all want to roll back tax breaks for the rich and corporations. Have a tax policy that's not favoring big multinational corporations, but instead favors the middle class and working people. And reconsider trade agreements that have cost American jobs. We also have to make sure that China trades on an equitable basis with the United States. We ought to ban all these toys they're bringing in. We ought to ban some of the food, that, the contaminated food they're bringing in. I don't mind competing with someone, but as long as we're all operating by the same rules. This is more of an adversarial relationship. It has to be identified as such. As for Hillary Clinton, whose husband shepherded the North American Free Trade Agreement, she keeps stepping further away, now promising to reform and improve it. I will review every trade agreement. I'm going to ask for revisions that I think will actually benefit our country, particularly our workers, our exporters. We believe in trade, but we don't want to be the trade patsies of the world. And in a debate which focused on home and hearth issues, they all said they want to bolster federal support for education. Got to start kids at school earlier. You got to put them in smaller classes. The smaller the class, the better the outcome. You got to, in order to do that, you need 100,000 more teachers. But you got to pay teachers. Their differences were about who could get it done. Edwards, throw the bums out. Because corporate power and greed have literally taken over the government. And we need a president who's willing to take these powers on. Obama, the politics of hope. We can only do it if we have the courage to change. If we can bring the country together. All of which gave Clinton an opening for the only zinger of the day. Well, everybody on this stage has an idea about how to get change. Uh, some believe you get change by demanding it. Some believe you get it by hoping for it. I believe you get it by working hard. Nobody slipped up, nobody stuck out, but there was a stumper. The question was how Obama could bring about change with so many old Clinton advisors in his campaign. You know, I am... I want to hear that. <laughs> well, Hillary, I'm looking forward to you advising me as well. <laughs> the, uh... As per usual to the front runners went the limelight, but the beauty of Iowa is that everybody gets a chance to speak. What I like best about Iowans is you like underdogs. And uh, <laughs> you, like, uh, you like to shake things up. You don't like the national media and the smarty pants that telling you who's going to be the next president. Everybody gets a chance to hope. After all that sweetness and light, it's time for reality. And reality here on the ground is a three-way tie. Obama, Clinton, Edwards which means look for a little hardball over the next three weeks. Candy Crowley, CNN, Johnston, Iowa.